Okay, and welcome to WCU Esports. Today we have Rocket League, WCU Slate taking on California State University, Dominguez Hill. And we have an early goal there from Minimum. Hot start for Western. Yeah, I'm Mountain Man, joined here by... Sean. Western, Western's looking to rebound after a tough week last week against Mesa. They fought hard, but dropped it in game five overtime, and well, they have a quick start here. Always what you like to see. Jackie's gonna look to do it himself. Minimum's right there. We're not seeing JoJo's mojo in this first game. Yeah, starting out this first game, we have Jackie Boy, Minimum, and Switch. This is a powerful item for the Mountaineers. Three, three players that work well together. Swish getting another Ooh. shot. And they're pouring on the pressure. Oh. Oh. Unable to get that block there. Just kidding. Tying it up 1-1. One, one. Less than what, 41 seconds into the game. Chavi was fast on that one. Just beat the defender and here we are. It's always tough. Good kickoff though from the Western. And it is a shot there from Jackie, deflected by Poncho, and a shot there from oh. Swish, and it's good. They're just putting everything on net. This is what you like to see if you're a Western fan, just everything going towards the net. And CSU, I don't know what it is, but they just can't can't get the clears. Let's see if Western can build on this. We're not even a minute in. Yeah, already three goals. Not a whole lot of defense being played in this one. Oh, man. <laughs> Four goals in less than a minute. We are still tied 2-2 now. <laughs> We're on pace for a 10-10 game. My goodness. We'll see if somebody can calm it down. Yeah, I feel like eventually it's going to mellow out. Some more defense is going to be getting played. These All their shots have been on target, though, which has been, been good. They're, they're placing them well. Ooh. Oh, save on the goal line for minimum. Yeah, good touch there by Panda. Looked like that one was going in, but minimum said, nah. -uh. He's going to take his time now. Tries to put a high lob over the defender, but he just can't. There's a follow up from Jackie. Counted as a shot there. Lots of shots going in here. Going off. It's a, it's a shooting gallery for sure. Oh, what a save from Swish. And from Jackie. You know, there's that defense we talked about. It's gotta... yeah, just getting those early nerves out. Somehow scoring two goals on for both teams in that first minute. But aside from that, we're starting to see some good Rocket League here. Some good rotation from Western, too. They're supporting each other well, and it's been a big reason as to why they, they've gotten so many shots so early. Goodness. WCU just looking to clear it now. <laughs> Struggling, but nobody wants to go for it. <laughs> oh, nice little clear from Swish. They're, you know what? They're holding strong on the goal line this game. You know, in the corners and in midfield, not so much. But the goal line defense from Western has been pretty, pretty nice so far. We're seeing a lot of good, uh, a lot of good centers coming out of CSU DH. Man, there's an opportunity for Swish. Just, just pesky defenders. But no, Western's getting their chances. There's another center from Jackie. And CSU just can't seem to break out. So there's another. Swish has been accurate with his shots so far. He, he's been placing them near the post, and it's really what you want. It's place it where the defender can't get to, and he's forced him to make some good saves. The onslaught continues. <laughs> Total, con total control for Western, my goodness. They're definitely holding it in that corner, but every time they try to Ooh. center it across it, it seems like someone is there. Swish just barely, barely missing that one. And here we go back down the field again. <laughs> Western's doing a good job holding it in. Oh, a little shot on their own net, though. 
That was unfortunate. Not the touch you want to see if you're minimum, but it's a nice little double touch there from from Panda, whether he meant to or not. <laughs> yeah, he puts his team ahead three to I just noticed he has a Panda antenna on his car. Ooh, fancy. I didn't even know that was in the game. That's pretty cute. Swish. Oh, a nice dunk. He's locked in so far. Western's been holding strong, but my goodness, they just can't break through, it seems. After that quick start, CSU is held strong. WCU down one goal with one minute remaining. Oh, opportunity for CSU to go up by one there, but they forgot something. Up by two. Not, not much of a math guy. <laughs> oh, nice little opportunity from Jackie. Looked like. Some swish will get it back in their side of the field. Minimum again. WCU. Plenty of opportunities. Just CSU DH. Definitely starting to play good defense in the second half of this game. Now that left corner for CSU is getting pounded. That will do it there. The dagger. 16 seconds. You know what? A lot can happen in 16 seconds. I won't. That is true. That is true. I won't count them out yet. We did see two very quick Western goals. But you got to get one quick. And they'll get their chance. Jack is going to go into the corner. Oh, center, but nobody's home. And a double commit there. That'll do it for game one. They fought hard. They did, absolutely. Lots of good shots, lots of good looks overall. Like, well played there from the Mountaineers. And we're back here for game two. CSU DH goal taking game one in a 4-2 victory over the Mountaineers. A tough loss for Western. They started off really strong. Two goals in the first, what, 20 seconds of that game? Yeah. I mean, just, after that, they couldn't break through. But they, they had some good pressure in that game, so let's... Absolutely. Lots of shots from both sides. And we have a shot there. A little high. Ooh. WCU able to clear it away from the goal. I think the goal line defense for Western is gonna gonna be a key factor here in this series. They've been they've been holding strong on that goal line. If they can, oh, nice little pop up there. Ooh, oh my goodness! Just getting a touch out. What a bounce! I'm not sure how the physics on that one work out, but good chance for Western. Oh, can swish? Oh, I thought he, I thought he was gonna send it. I'm keeping it there, getting a decent center off. It's open. Nobody there though to follow through for the Mountaineers. Western, they gotta, they gotta send more than one person upfield. It looks like so far CSU is missing the ball a lot. You know, 
if That's Western can center shot there, high right. And if Western can can just get a second guy to crash the rebound, and it's sitting pretty. CSU has not been strong mechanically. And it seems like WCU playing a little scared after letting four goals in last game. Playing a little more defensively to start off this round. I would also play pretty scared <laughs> if I allowed two goals in the first minute. Well, double commit from CSU, but doesn't matter. Minimum, minimum, he he eats those for breakfast. CSU has not been. I don't know what it, what it changed from game to game, but they haven't been strong mechanically in this one. So they can capitalize. They're, they're looking good. Oh, double miss there from Western. Only one back, but. Unable to get a good cross there for CSU. Pancho trying to do it all himself. Western's been strong on defense, though. It's offense where they've been, you know, maybe struggling to put shots in the net. Swish, he's been accurate. Not a really solid chance for either team yet. Some good defense again on the goal line. Just both teams struggling, <laughs> struggling to put chances together. I mean, it's been a very midfield contested game, and yeah, interesting, completely different game compared to last game, where it seemed like almost every shot was on target. Already three minutes in, and no goals here in game two. You can tell both teams are playing, they're playing a little scared. A little bit. Both teams are, and you know, Western saw, hey, we gave up four goals last game, let's not do that again, and CSU is saying, hold on, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna bring everything at us. CSU loves those high lobs. What they do, WCU doing pretty decent this game, defending against them. Jackie Boy going in, oh, man. running out of boost, unfortunately. Oh, a shot from Switch, oh, a double commit. CSU's been double committing a lot as well, but that backboard, they're they're abusing that backboard in the same way that Western loves to just keep it in the corner. CSU just throw it off the backboard and pray, I guess. Worked for him last game. Oof. Swish just slightly too far forward there to take a shot. Ooh. Main tries to carry it in, but stopped by Poncho. Nearly gets the fake off too. WCU starting to push now in this final minute. It feels like we're Ooh. we're in sudden death at this point. So, oh, just lands on the ball. Good tap there from Min. It feels it feels like de facto sudden death right now, and you know that first one may be all you need. So far, it's been all Western this last minute. Yeah, we're down to 30 seconds. Still no goals. WCU attacking heavily here. Man. Here comes CSU with a chance of their own. Just kidding. I keep it in that corner. WCU Ooh, unable to clear in. it. Oh! Right off the post. That was lucky there for the Mountaineers. WCU still with three seconds trying to push. Oh, Unable oh to. God. We are going to overtime here in game two. A great chances for both teams there at, right at the end. CSU hits the post square and it comes right out, and then Western hits the post of their own. Tough break for both teams. Good clear there from CSU. Western's picking up right where they left off, though, at the end of regulation. They're just all over the ball. Absolutely. Nobody back. It's going to be going off just the left side there. Jackie Boy getting a good center, but it is tapped away. Awkward for the defenders, though. There's a minimum for a shot. Oh. Seems like whatever each team is doing, there's a counter, but unable to block it there for ah. WCU. CSUDH going up 2 0. Oh man, what a game!
And we're back here for game three. CSUDH Gold currently up 2-0 in this best of five series. So WCU is going to have to win the next three. Going to have to reverse sweep and they made a double substitute. Ooh. JoJo and Jolly coming in for Jackie and Minimum. Yeah, Jolly with an early shot there. Swish with another. WCU definitely coming out to win here. They're coming out swinging right off the bat. Jolly, we know him as more of a mechanical player, which maybe that's what Western needs. I say that. I mean, <laughs> making me look bad. This is uh, the most mechanical three players that WCU Slate has. We'll see if it makes a difference. It's, goal scoring's been their biggest biggest downfall in the series. They only have two goals heading into this game three. You know, a lot more than that to win. But so far they're they're peppering that goalie. Well, Jolly already with two shots. Good look there, but too far outside left. Quick start though. You know the big biggest downfall of Western last game was they just weren't quick enough to get to the offensive chances and it cost them the game. Yeah, last game uh, WCU didn't seem to start attacking until the last minute really. So well, they put shots on them in that last minute. That they did. They're putting shots on so far too. Oh, just high. There. We'll follow up. We'll follow up on Able. What a save. Great save there. On the edge of my seat watching this. They were just throwing everything in net. Seeing what works, but you know what? Credit to UD8 or CSU. They uh they've been holding strong on defense. For sure. They've been solid when they need to and they've come up with the saves that they need to. Long clear. A little follow up there. Just can't find it though. Well, they're just kind of blasting it off that backboard right now, just hoping for <laughs> it to drop into Going place. Going back and forth. <laughs> well, there's a good look, but Swish is able to clear it before CSU gets there. WCU now on the attack again. Good block. Not really many second opportunities though. Western's been good at shutting down second chance scoring chances. And they have and CCU hasn't. They've been giving up a lot of rebounds and second opportunities, but Western's been strong in that department. Yeah, this game definitely seems uh less technical and more just kinda smack it and yeah. see ball hit ball. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn your brain off and let your fingers do the work. Oh, what a shot. Just high. Jolly with the follow up, can't find it. And we're three minutes into this game with no goals, similar to last game. Western doesn't want to get into these kind of battles. They excel most when it's a high scoring, just back and forth trade. But these one nothing games where, you know, one mistake can mean the difference. They just haven't been strong this season. Let's see if they can get a quick pass play though. Just missed. They are peppering that corner, let me tell you. Right there are WCU finally with a good crosser. Oh. And a miss, unfortunate there for the Mountaineers. They were that close. Oh, that might go in. Ooh. Oh, off the post as well. Oh, and then, oh man. WCU definitely trying to stay alive, basically, at this point. WCU has to win. Oh, no defenders back and switch follow up. Kind of miss their open goal. Gets it into the corner, and Jolly could have gotten that, though. Oh man, I'm on the edge of my seat. My heart's pounding for these boys. Oh, oh no. And that's a goal there for CSUDH Gold. With 40 seconds left on the clock, WCU is gonna have to score. It's an unfortunate miss there from, I think that was Swish. He's been solid all series, he's been getting the shots, but you know, those are always unfortunate. Just repeated backboard touches from CSU. At this point, you gotta think CSU is just kind of thinking about stalling, honestly. 
Swish oh, coming in oh. off the upper backboard. JoJo trying to get that follow through, and then Jolly, both unsuccessful. Good block from Swish. They gotta get downfield in a hurry. They're running out of time. Final 10 There's seconds. Oh, Jolly's Whoa. going too fast. And it is cleared, and this is not looking good. Oh, kept up. Let's see. That will do it there. Tough, tough loss for the Mountaineers. Eight. Man, they gave it their all. Two one nothing games. That was what a low scoring series. It was it was a well fought battle. Honestly, good matchup between both teams, so. Well, that'll do it for us here for WCU Slate. We have WCU Crimson playing tonight at 8 p.m. So, we'll see you then. See you then.